You're watching MileHighSportsPreps.com. Brought to you by Camp Team Insurance, your sports insurance specialist. So here's that Ponderosa Coronado connection thing again, Ed, and uh, Olsen coming into uh, this uh, particular matchup, uh, ranked number two on the, on the mat rankings behind uh, Jackson Julian of Chaparral. This should be a very entertaining battle. Well, again, we haven't seen a lot of Walliser. He's a transfer in from uh, Illinois, but he's had a great year so far. And uh, right now he does score the first two points. And again, Walliser ranked number 10, and he is quickly scoring on Coronado. Now, they must have had a misprint in, in the uh, sheets here. They got Walliser starting the day out at 0-9 on the season. That can't be right. That's got to be a misprint. So we're going to call him undefeated unless uh, we know something different. It is to nothing here as we have early action in the first period of this matchup. I'd have to agree. I, I, would, I would venture to say he is definitely 9-0 at this point and taking it to the actually one of the top-ranked wrestlers in Ethan Olson, who's had a very good year so far, but Wallace are taking it to him. Olson's one of those tough, uh, fiery guys, good defensive wrestler, good on his feet laterally and on, on top, but right now he's in a bad spot on the bottom. Wallace are using that grinding style and uh, staying right on top of him. He's got that, him in that little hold there. Now the referees will stop that for just a moment. They called just an illegal move with his head and neck. A minute and four remaining first period. Then Walser trying to battle Olsen here in this 160 pound championship match. And the Ponderosa star trying to wear him down early and get him out of his game. Then using his uh, lower leg strength, he's got powerful legs, good movement, tough kid on top. Now Olsen trying to twist around to the right and try and get out of that hold. Down to 28 seconds. And again, using that power is the Coronado star. Now he goes for the front leg takedown, trying to get him rolled over. Walls are trying to make a reverse on that. It's a low gravity move and there's that single leg thing trying to do that fireman's carry thing. And now they run towards the end of the mat and an escape right at the corner of the mat. Something Walliser did not want to do. He's trying to hang on to that leg to try to keep Olsen from scoring, but uh, that was a big one point there. Two to one after the first period in this 160 pound championship final. We're here tonight at the Arvada West Invitational. And of course, uh, next week uh, here on MileHighSportsPreps.com, uh, we'll be at the prestigious Top of the Rockies Tournament down at Centaurus. And boy, what a doozy that's going to be. Some of the premier teams around the state of Colorado and Utah and Oklahoma as well. That's going to be a slam banging good time next week down in Lafayette. I was a little surprised that the Coronado coaches told Olsen to take uh, the neutral position because Walliser took him down and has taken him down again now uh, extended the lead four to one. But uh, not to mention Ponderosa versus Broomfield on Wednesday at Ponderosa High School should be a barn burner. You have the number one team in 4A versus the number one team in 5A uh, from last year battling out at a duel at Ponderosa High School on Wednesday. Now trying to do that squeeze move. He's got one shoulder down, but the other one able to be rolled up right at the last moment as uh the Ponderosa star, uh, now Olsen, gets uh, credited for a two-point takedown with a 7-1 lead. And uh, you know that Ponderosa-Broomfield duel is going to be great on Wednesday. And Ed's son, Jordan, is going to have his hands full with Kelly. That'll be one of the feature matches of that, uh, of that duel coming up on Wednesday. It should be an unbelievable match of the two number one ranked wrestlers in 4 and 5A, respectively. I'd pay the price of admission to see that one. Well, we hope it's close. Kelly's wrestling great. Uh, I think uh, Jordan has held his own this year, but uh, uh, we hope to, to, uh, to see a great match and, and uh, hang in there with Ponderosa. Has not been very uh, successful the last couple times they've wrestled them as a team, but uh, hopefully there's some weakness in Ponderosa. Of course, no one has found it yet too many times in a duel. Now a reversal right at the side of the mat there for the moment. Wallace picked up two points to cut the lead to seven to three. And now he's trying to uh, pick up a single leg takedown and get, get Olsen off balance. 
He's close, but not able to squeeze. Now he front rolls him over right on the back of his head. You can hear that clear in the next week. And a good sign, Walliser up on his feet as he gets an ovation from the fans. That could have been a real dangerous situation. He went down hard on his neck. He sure did. I think the back of his head was probably the, uh, the biggest part that hurt him on that one. But uh, I, I think that Olsen is really surprised that he finds himself so far behind Walliser. I, I believe... Coronado coaches thought that he had a really good shot of winning this match, and he still could. Obviously, very. Uh, we have a whole period left after these 12 seconds, but we'll see. Wrestling resumes, and an escape as uh, Walliser was able to roll out of that. We're down to three seconds, 9-3, and that will be the end of the second period with Gary Walliser of Ponderosa leading this match over Ethan Olsen of Coronado. Uh, 9-3, to three, and this match is important, of course, for the team championship at the Arvada West Invitational. The race was close with the top three teams heading into the final, so this is a very important uh, finish for both Walliser and Olsen here. I would say the Coronado coaches had confidence that, uh, that they could win this match, but uh, not too many people have seen Walliser yet this year. Uh, it's a pleasant surprise because I think Walliser is doing, a great, uh, doing some great things in there to stay ahead and he's impressive. He's been very smart and very technical to this point. Olsen's gonna have to come up with something and he decides to leave him go for the escape. It's now 10 to three. He's gonna have to find something quickly offensively and try and find something. And now uh, he's got him in that sort of like little headlock move. And now the uh, referees will call time out and point straight into the air. What, what, what was that? There's an illegal figure four on the head there, ah. John, and uh, something that's illegal. But, you know, one thing I like about what Wallerson just did is he didn't stay in, and uh, try to stall out his lead. He went out there on the aggressive side and, and shot a, a, a great low single, and we'll see what happens now, but I don't think Wallace is done. He looks in great shape, doing some great things out there. On the illegal move, Gary was awarded a point, 11-3, to three, and now they squat right down in the middle of the mat, and it uh, looks like they're stuck in quicksand in a mo for a moment trying to get, get out of that hole. There was quite a bold attempt there by uh, Olsen. And now I Another two it. points. Yep. Just slides that. off that move there with the front quarter and slides that move off and scores another big point. Spreads it out to 10 points. Going to be tough for Olsen. He's going to have to start looking for some throws. Some and quick first he has to get out of the bottom. Yes, uh, quick throws and a near pin situation. You need one of those five point jobs in like a matter of seconds. But uh, Olsen's got a whole lot of work to do to come back into this one. Wallace has been very impressive tonight as he holds his leg as he's squatted down low to the mat. And that guarantees that Olsen is not gonna be able to uh, get him turned over. Now the referees call him for either an illegal elbow in the, in the uh, neck or back area or some kind of, of illegal hold there. 32 seconds remaining in the 160 pound championship. Gary Walliser of Ponderosa looking to finish off the championship. Ethan Olson has given it all he's gotten. He's just gotten beaten tonight on the mat by a little better wrestler. And now another illegal hold move uh, with the legs as he was holding his uh, stomach on it. We've seen some interesting illegal holds tonight. Actually, that was a stall call there on the top. Uh, okay. Again, what we what we considered that Walliser might do would be to stall out his his um, lead. Uh, kind of fell into that position there. But uh, Sam Gallegos right on top of things calling, calling uh, Walliser for that uh, stall. We're down to 18 seconds as Gary Walliser of Ponderosa looks to finish off. And now an escape there by Olsen. Going to have to get going in a hurry. Time running against him. Time not on his side. Down 13 to 4. There's the front roll move. And uh, two points. Nifty move. He's done that the whole match. And a win. A big major decision for Gary Walliser of Ponderosa as he easily defeats Ethan Olsen of Coronado here in this championship final, 15 to four. You're watching MileHighSportsPreps.com. Brought to you by Camp Team Insurance, your sports insurance specialist.